Dynamic range indicates how many different steps of light to dark the sensor can see. 13 stops of dynamic range literally means 13 stops of the light to dark range. The higher the dynamic range, the more information is retained in highlights and shadows. Be warned though, you can have all the dynamic range in the world, but if it's not matched with a higher bit depth when it comes to post work, you're gonna find you're not gonna be able to get the most out of that. What is bit depth? You hear eight bits, 10 bits, and if you're lucky, 12 bits and higher. This denotes the amount of information in each color channel. An 8-bit image has 256 tones per color channel of red, green, and blue. This figure doubles per bit. So when you get to 10 bit, we have four times that number. So it's 1,024 different variations of red, green, and blue. And so when you get 12 bit, it's four times that, and so on and so forth. I mean, actually eight bit is a lot of color variations because it's 256 by 256 by 256. And if my calculations are correct, that is 16,277,216 different colors, which is more than the human eye can see, which is only around 10 million. You may think, well, that's more than enough. Well. You think it would be, but it's when you go into post and you start color grading, start changing the values of your contrast, your saturation, then you have problems and things start to fall apart. You really do need a higher bit depth, otherwise you're gonna end up with this horrible thing called banding. And look how nasty that is.